Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, folks. We have a, uh, a fine program here tonight. Amy Wallace is here and Don Rickles will be out in uh, just a second. Paul, did you have a nice uh, weekend? Um, I had a lovely time here in the city. The weather was swell, but I... I if... uh, I'm very excited about having uh, this next gentleman on our program. As I mentioned at the top of the show, uh, never fails to make me laugh. He will be appearing at the Westbury Music Fair uh, right here in New York beginning September 28th through October 2nd. Uh, truly one of the funniest men in the world. Please welcome Don Rickles. <laughs> You look great. We've got a real laid-back crowd here. No, no. <laughs> They're all sitting there with grenades and guns. <laughs> <laughs> They're happy to see you. We get a, we get a good group and... Uh... You should do. And I, I've never been on your show. I've been with you in, once in Los Angeles. Right. With Johnny Carson when you were... You remember him. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ed McMahon, who you're going to have on tomorrow night. Here tomorrow, we just sure. saw him today. We had yeah. a drink together, and he, he was, runs in front of Johnny's car and checks for grenades. And all that stuff. <laughs> his whole life, Johnny Carson. Uh, Paul, have yourself committed. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said. Awfully nice guy, but there's a new thing out called food. <laughs> black kid sitting there going, what's he making fun of him for? What's he making fun of him? <laughs> Don, that's, uh, that's uh, Hiram Bullock. Hiram, Hiram Bullock. Bullock, yeah, Don that's Rickles. a black guy. Hiram Bullock. <laughs> they give themselves those funny names so to stump the cops. <laughs> what's your name, boy? Hiram Bullock, now go right there. <laughs> I kid you, Hiram. You're black and I'm white. That's the brakes. <laughs> Is he laughing? See if he's laughing. No, right? he's yeah, laughing. sure. Yeah. How old are you, Hiram? 28. Yeah, and he's tired already. Look at that. <laughs> Later on, we'll come over and have harmonica lessons here. Okay. <laughs> good to see you, Hiram. You're a good fella. Oh. Uh, Don, you just, uh... <laughs> you just... You just got back... Can I ask you something? Please do. <laughs> when you were a kid, did they hang you? <laughs> Do you notice every time I watch you, I'm he sits like 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 like, it, like you got a stick on your can and you're waiting for field day or something. <laughs> you're, you're like Carson, the real mid Midwest guy. He never perspires. I bet when you get married, you make love to the wife. Not a trickle, nothing. I bet you probably stand by the end of the bed going, well, I want to take a crack at it, huh? What do you say? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I could say anything because at 12.30, nobody's up. No, no, there's, ah. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a fine uh, group of folks out no, there No, you have a good this. following. You, I, I, I never thought you were going to make it. I'm delighted for you. I, <laughs> I was one of the guys that said, this guy's a stiff, he ain't going to make it. No, no. And, 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 and Crystal, that kid Crystal, uh, uh, Danny, uh, uh, not Danny, uh, Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. Yeah, who's your good friends, like Newhart and I. You are good friends. You yeah, he's Billy. a very funny man. Yeah, he is. He, yeah. Yeah, of course, I watched him on the show, and I spoke to him a few times about you, and he was he was fed up, too. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. But I, I like that uh, camaraderie you have between Billy and you, and Newhart and I have that. Yeah. And Bob is... Uh, he's like you. That's why we're, we're, we're such good friends. Well, I think Bob's terrific. You yeah. Know, you know, it occurred to me the other day, he's... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here. I think he's had... He had, a, he had a television show in the 60s, he had one in the 70s, mm. and now he's got one in the 80s. Mm. And, and each of them have been very successful. Mm. That's a pretty impressive record. Three separate shows, three I know, he, he reminds me of that every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had a few shows that, unfortunately, it started to get funny and they took it off. Now, uh, <laughs> how many shows did you have? Well, David, uh, if we, well, first I had a show on ABC with Pat McCormick. What was that called? That was called Make It Up and Hope It Goes Over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we used to stand on the set, that's the truth. Pat uh -huh. used to make it up, and we used to, and ABC at that time, Goldenson was the, was the president, still is the chairman of the board now. You know Goldenson of ABC? No, I don't know. He's him. a great guy. A little Jewish guy just sits in the office going, eh, turn on the light. Turn on the light. <laughs> Somebody turn on the light. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's cheap chairs here. Uh, 
But uh, and then I had a then I had another show called the Don Rickles Show with Sheldon Leonard, uh -huh. where I played an executive, your type of guy, you know, the Midwest guy. But nobody bought that, you know, because <laughs> that, I'm, I'm a New Yorker no. all my life. You yeah. know, I'm the kind of guy that hangs around the neighborhood. And goes, what do you say, Vinny? <laughs> you know, yeah. hey, 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 here's your Vinny, Vinny, hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that that's Italian for how's your family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Look at that. We, Bullet bought that. He we went, I've uh, never heard of that. We, <laughs> Don, we have to do a commercial here. Sure, whatever you we'll, want. We'll it's your do, show. We'll do a commercial, and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, Don Rickles fine. will be here uh, okay, for the rest of the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is here. You ever been to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Don? Uh, once, uh, uh, I, uh, in the service, <laughs> we went through with the shades down. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's a nice area. Yeah. Well, no, say something nice about the folks down there because okay, they just Baton, uh... Baton Rouge. <laughs> Kiss my Charlotte Rouge. <laughs> no, I, I love it down there. I I don't plan to work there, but I. Uh... <laughs> No, it's nice. It really is. I, that part of the country I'm not too familiar with. I've been through there, but I've never worked there. You, do, you used to do college dates and so forth. I never went to college. You went to Ball State. That's right. Now, how did you know I went to Ball State oh, Well, because University. you're my whole life. <laughs> I mean, I don't watch television in the supermarket. We have a set at home, you know. I do watch you. You think I don't, but I do. I really do. Well, 12.30 let's... at night when the wife's relaxing in between little club dates, we, uh, we turn you on and yeah. I enjoy you. I now, really how, do. how is your wife? She's great. Uh, uh, she wanted to come to the show tonight, but uh, she took a room in Saks. Uh, <laughs> we, we just came back from Italy, David. Have you ever been to Italy? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you don't have to call me sir. Uh, oh, okay. All right. King of all Jews will be enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, you make me feel so old, David. I'm sir. sorry. I'm just well, I hope that, uh, you can say sir. George Burns. Indiana Those men deserve all sir. Right. All right, Don. And Sorry, Carson, Don? certainly for you, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, not for me, but, well, yes, for me sometimes, I would say that. But uh, uh, I must say that uh, we, we just came back from it, and the wife, my name on trips, you're not a married guy yet, someday I hope you will be, if that be your wish, I don't know. Are you, do, do you plan to get married, or you just yeah, want no, to get just want to confuse the public? No, I plan to get married. Still lock yourself in your room with the radio on loud? <laughs> David, you really got to do it. It's great. I was 38 years old before I got married. I'm now, I'll be, I'm 57 now. Uh -huh. For a minute there, I thought it was a Keno game. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, if you get a chance, look over here and see how we're doing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just sits there in the nude looking at his body. No, it... Anyway, uh, I must say, though, that uh, we went to Italy, and my name on the trip was, so help me, to all of us, my name was, uh, you don't need that. My wife kept buying, well, she bought jewelry, bless her heart, she bought shoes. And I'd say, I think I need a T-shirt. You don't need that. That was my middle name. You don't need that. Yeah. And so we went to Capri. We went to Venice. And uh, the exciting part is my son uh, turned 13, and I, I had him bar mitzvah. You know that expression. That's when a Jewish boy becomes of age, uh, becomes a man, so to speak. And we went to the wall in Israel and said all the prayers, and it was great. And uh, Newhart, he wanted oh, to you come. Went, you went with, oh, you didn't go with Bob? No, 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 no because they, they recognize him. They start, they, they try to pick him off. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I mean, there are Gentiles and Gentiles, but he has the white skin, uh -huh. and definitely it doesn't look like, he looks like a Nazi fighter pilot. That's what he looks like. <laughs> but Bob and I did visit Israel uh, previous to this, uh -huh. and we had a marvelous time together, and he kept saying, let's go to the birthplace of Jesus, you know, and I kept telling that to the Israeli soldiers, and they kept giggling and laughing. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but I yeah, said, I let's either. see the birthplace of Jesus. And we did. They were most kind. The Israeli government was terrific to Bob. And it really, uh, I'm not, as long as we're on that thing, I mean, you, no matter what your faith is, Israel, it, it's a fantastic place. All the holiest places in the world are there, and it's great, you know, especially for Bob. You know, when he laid on the ground, went, <laughs> you know, and I, I gave him a cookie, and he stopped doing that. <laughs> now, now, when you travel uh, out of the country, Don, do people recognize you? Oh, yes. They don't recognize you? Mm. <laughs> they know me like that. No, I'm amazed. It's not so much the Europeans, as you can well imagine. You uh -huh. know, they, uh, they don't... Television is, you know... Uh, unless you have a Dallas or something like that, you're sure. a Larry Hagman or what have you, for the lack of another name right now. But uh, <laughs> he, he's my neighbor at the beach. He's, they're going to have him taken away with Paul. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. 